Oh, hello. Hi, I'm Jeff Holliday. Sorry, I was doing a little bit of uh, studying for another video that I'm working on. Um, I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about response videos before we get into the meat and potatoes of what we're going to be talking about. You see, response videos are, are there's it's a whole industry on YouTube. Uh, the commentary community, for one, makes an entire living based upon reacting to things that are happening and responding to uh, various different types of media or entertainment that people voluntarily put out into the world. And by and large, I would very much like to not have to do too many response videos. But the thing that you have to keep in mind is that Without response videos, ultimately, things are just shouted off into the void. Things are just offered up for consumption without really a way to be challenged. So because of that, I think that they're really, really important. Nobody is holding a gun to anybody's head and making them make content that is bad, objectively bad or factually incorrect. Even more so, most of the time when these people put out some of the horrible, horrible videos that they do, and we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be looking at one today. Most of the time, they're doing it for a type of financial gain or worse, political gain. So <laughs> I'm really mad I have to do this video, but yet again, we're gonna have to take a look at Infowars. My body, my choice. I'm sure you've heard these words chanted by leftist protesters, my body, my choice. That's what they always say. Of course, that's when it comes to abortion. But my body, my choice is what they say. Oh, except when it comes to vaccines. Oh, yes. We're talking about Infowars and vaccines. This is Owen Schroyer. And Owen was a, a couch conservative YouTuber content creator uh, who would blather on about hardcore right-leaning talking points. But for the most part, he was just a, an average kid, you know, doing whatever. But then he got hired by Infowars. And since then, well, this is the kind of shit that's happened. How are you, young man? Um, you're an idiot. Wow, who taught you that language? My mother. So your mother taught you that foul language? In the car. And why am I an idiot? Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. That is, oh, my gosh. And, of course, he's learned some interesting tactics along the way. Do you want a rapist in the White House? Hillary is running for president. Do you want a rapist in the Hillary White House? Hillary is running for president. So is Bill not going to go to the White House then? Bill will be in the White House, but Hillary... So do you want a rapist in the White House? Donald Trump would be in the White House if he wants. Do won. you want a rapist in the Hillary White House? Hillary is running for president. You're not answering the question. Do you want a rapist in the White House? Bill is not a rapist. Settled multiple rape Hillary cases. Hillary is running for president. What do you not get about that? Do you want a rapist in the White House? But that isn't to say that he's a pro at this. I mean, I mean, after all, there there are sometimes some some tense moments in the studio. And then they sit there and they're like, you know, if you just turn against Trump, things will be better. But he was doing good, and that what makes it so bad. Oh, and that's what makes it so bad. <laughs> He'd have been a piece of crap from the beginning. It would be so bad. But we made so many sacrifices. Yeah, so, so it's there's, there's no never winning. enough unless we put dirt back Hillary in and worship that ugly goddamn piece of... But all of that's mostly irrelevant, except for this. Now, I've been paying attention to Infowars for a while, and <laughs> Alex Jones has been very careful to minimize how much he talks about vaccines. Usually it's not him anymore. Either it's an article being published on the website, or he gets somebody like Owen here to run a news report on it. So, uh, let's watch. It's your body, your choice until the child is born. So you can kill the child before it's born if you want. That's your body, your choice. But then when the child is born, it becomes the government's body, the government's choice, and they force you to vaccinate your kids. I don't know how many times it needs to be said, but there are no black masked squads of government agents breaking into the nursery to vaccinate children. That doesn't happen. I, I <laughs> what the fuck? Now, I don't know why they care so much if you don't want to get vaccinated. After all, you're vaccinated. You should be fine. I'm the one at risk. Oh, because it's not about the vaccines. It's about control. It's about authoritarianism no i'm pretty sure it's about making sure that people don't die of preventable diseases just saying 
And Dell Bigtree has been one of the lead fighters when it comes to vaccine choice. I'm trying to wake people up to the fact that you're being force injected. More and more states are passing laws to force inject not only your children, but also they're working on adult mandates where they're going to line up every adult in America and inject them with vaccines. Pharma, which is now the most powerful lobby in Washington, they're out spending oil and gas two to one. They're buying all of your next politicians as we speak. There is no such thing as forced vaccinations. There is compelled vaccinations. You want to work in the healthcare industry? You need to be vaccinated. You want your kid to go to public school? You need to be vaccinated. These are conditional aspects of society that require vaccinations and they require them because otherwise we have horrific terrible fucking outbreaks that's why but these guys don't actually give a shit about that vaccines are not made by some group of angels at these pharmaceutical you know agencies that we detest it's the same people the same money grubbing you know controlling you know, power, you know, group that are trying to buy politicians that are making your vaccines. Now, of course, of course, the pharmaceutical industry is not a bunch of fucking angels. It's a business. They're all businesses. They're all companies. They're all corporations. Do I trust them? No. But do I trust a doctor? Yeah, most of the time, I there's not really much of a reason not to, especially when the person is trying to convince you that you're not supposed to be trusting your doctor is some random dude with a radio show trying to instill fear and paranoia. But as far as this notion that, oh, wow, everything's going to be bought up by the, 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 the politicians, if you if you trust any politician, honestly, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how to help you because... It's a politician. Politicians will always look out for themselves first. I, th I would like to think that everybody in, in America who is an adult understands this. But as far as them changing things, like we have clear examples. Like 1994, the Dietary Supplement Health and Education Act, uh, where it was a very blatant case of two senators being bought. Like literally bought by the supplement industry to deregulate supplements. Like we, 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 we have an example of that happening and it wasn't it wasn't the pharmaceutical industry, it was their direct competitors. So uh Well and you know, when you talk about vaccinating or forced vaccination of adults, you look at a situation, let's say there's some big outbreak, right? Some big viral outbreak or something, and they say, Oh, 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 you know, we have the vaccine. This is kind of what they tried to do with the uh, I think it was the swine flu. This is uh, the, the mosquitoes were carrying or Zika. It was Zika they were doing it with. Like maybe I'm just nitpicking or something, but shouldn't you be familiar with what you're talking about before you do this interview? I, it's just sloppy. And so, yeah, you know, the general population, if they were, you know, scared, they would go get the vaccine if they thought that that would stop them from getting this disease that's outbreaking. OK, well, if you're afraid that you might catch some virus and there's a vaccine for the virus, how is that forced vaccination? That doesn't make any sense. But there's another layer to this, and it, it, I kind of like to tie this in, at least this aspect, with the food industry. Where Okay, I'm letting this run for a little bit, but um, I, the whole point here was forced vaccinations. Your example of forced vaccinations was that if people were scared and there was a vaccine for it, they might get the vaccine. Are you actually going to address this whole idea of, like, forced vaccinations? Are you? Okay, now that you know the truth about these ingredients, do you still want to eat this food? Why don't you actually read the insert? Why don't you read the ingredients of that vaccine, make an informed decision, and then see what ingredients are in there, and you make an informed decision. And I think just like with food, most people are going to see that ingredient list and say, you know what? I, I don't think I want that. Still, still not talking about how there's forced vaccinations. This isn't forced. This is talking about, oh, well, read the insert, and there might be things in the, the ingredients that, that, are, that are bad. Where, where's the whole thing about forced vaccinations? Where? Where? Are you going to quantify what you just claimed, or are you just going to talk a bunch of bullshit? This is one thing that drives me crazy about places like Infowars, and anti-vaxxers in general, is they automatically assume that if they talk a bunch of random shit, rapid fire at you, that you, the audience, are dumb enough, and you're not going to pay attention to it. You're just going to mindlessly absorb it and be like, oh yeah, well, they're, they're forcing us to get vaccinated. How? They haven't stated how yet.
You may be right. I mean, look, it, there, we do know that aluminum is proving to be a very, very toxic element in all of our vaccines being given at huge doses. They, they are not tackling the issue. So now I guess we're, we're going to talk about aluminum. OK, fine. Sure. Great. Let's talk about aluminum. That the immune activation that's happening in the shoulder when we inject a vaccine in the shoulder, our immune cells are grabbing that and then making it into our brain and destroying the brains of children. All right, let's knock this one out of the park really, really quickly because it's so tired and old. We've been using aluminum adjuvants for over 70 years with never one clear case of any harm being done whatsoever to children. In fact, the maximum amount that we can actually have of aluminum inside a vaccine <laughs> is less than what you will naturally get from breastfeeding your you from breastfeeding from your mother in the course of like a two maybe three weeks or so as in you naturally will be consuming aluminum just through breastfeeding and formula you get even more this is just simple facts simple simple facts so if the aluminum in vaccines could and as some of them like to claim cause autism well you get more aluminum from your mom's titty than you do from the needle so our our, our anti-vaxxers next going to say that breastfeeding and infant formula are, are causing autism something tells me probably not donald trump set us up with a meeting i went with bobby kennedy and me uh, we and a couple of other people, we got to meet with the heads of the National Institute of Health, CDC, FDA, and air our grievances of how vaccines are being dealt with. Yes, you heard that right. The, the current political party invited this flaming dumpster fire of a human being and others to get together to talk about vaccine safety. Aren't you feeling so comfortable with the, with the current... Uh, political interactions with our science community, aren't you? Just makes me feel all warm inside. And one of the big problems is there is no safety studies being done on childhood vaccines. I want people to hear that. No safety studies. And what I mean is the gold standards of a safety study are the double-blind inert placebo study where one group gets the vaccine and the other group gets an inert saline injection. I, I, I want to play that for you one more time. One more time. Really think about what this dude is saying. Really think about it. The gold standards of a safety study are the double-blind inert placebo study where one group gets the vaccine and the other group gets an inert saline injection. Oh, okay. <sighs> do you know why we don't do that, Del Big Tree? We don't do that because the very concept of that is fucking inhumane. It is absolutely disgusting to think. And what we're going to do is, in this current... <laughs> this current political climate with anti-vaxxers running around and constant constant examples of epidemics and outbreaks of vaccine preventable diseases going around some of which can be extremely extremely dangerous for young children oh well we're just going to not tell which which kids uh didn't really get the vaccine we'll see which ones catch it now, do, do you see the problem with that can, can you can you can you wrap your stupid, vapid, cow-like fucking face around why that would be a bad idea. That beside the fact that we already have numerous, numerous amounts of studies, we have decades upon decades of scientific literature showing the actual safety of these things, that just to satisfy your wild wingnut conspiracy theories, your very convenient way of arguing, we need to actually put children needlessly at risk. Okay, okay. Yeah, you're not you're not being selfish at all in this at all. You're just a truth seeker, right? Mm. They have a religious belief that vaccines are safe before they even get a brand new one. Consider Gardasil, HPV vaccines, one of our newest vaccines. They never tested it for safety because they didn't want to have a placebo group that didn't get it. And that right there is absolutely a lie. Yes, of course Gardasil was tested for safety. Of course it was. Just not in the way that you want it to be tested. And the reason why is you don't actually care. No, none of these anti-vaxxers actually care about vaccine safety. None of them do. 
they've whipped themselves into this fury that this is how things are. And they start having a vested financial interest into it. You think Dell here actually does all of this out of the kindness of his heart? And it's not because he gets national attention. He gets people paying money into the fact that he's doing his little radio show. Allows him to travel around. Uh, get the, the fawning adoration of people who have been brainwashed into his crazy little anti-vax, anti-science cult. Come on. You know, and if you, let's, let's say that you're just a parent, okay? And you're at home and you wanted to quote unquote self-medicate your child, if you gave them the same ingredients in these vaccines, that would be considered child abuse. Let me try and wrap my head around that real quick because because Owen has officially shit the bed uh, metaphorically in his own brain about, <laughs> with that statement. If you took all of the ingredients in a vaccine and gave it to a kid, well, in the minuscule, minuscule amounts, it still wouldn't do anything. It wouldn't do anything at all. I, I, I don't understand how, how you cannot understand that the dose makes the poison. That's so bizarre to me. So completely bizarre. Any, too much of anything can be dangerous, no matter how natural or unnatural or synthetic or, or replicated it is. It's, it's just it's basic chemistry. It's basic biochemistry. I understand that this mouth breather doesn't get it. That's fine. But, oh, my God. It's just incredible when you look at all the ways that the vaccine industry is able to avoid justice, Dell. I mean, I don't even think most people realize that the vaccine industry has its own court system. I mean, what? I mean, that is unheard of. If that's not obstruction of justice, I don't know what is. You're trying to make a complaint that there's a specific court to handle vaccine injuries. And that was designed specifically to help parents who might have a case that their child is injured by a vaccine. Like this thing was created to help what what you perceive as the problem. And and, and you're, you're you're trying to make this case that it's like some new world order kind of shit. Oh, but just wait, just 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 hang on a sec. Just hang on a second. But you can't sue a vaccine maker. You can't sue a doctor that gives a vaccine. They're all protected by a law that was passed in 1986 called the Vaccine Injury Compensation Act. The Vaccine Injury Compensation Act, of course. And here's here's what's fun. Here's what's really fun. These guys like to use the VAERS database. And it's basically uh, the, the dumping ground of people who claim that something bad happened to their kid because of a vaccine. They will utilize every single aspect of that law and then they'll shit on that law and say, well, this is an example of government collusion. It's the most speaking out of both sides of your mouth I've ever heard of. Like, they probably won't even mention uh, the numerous cases of VAERS, because if they do, it would be a clear case of them embracing one aspect of something that they despise, saying it's bad, but oh, this part of it over here, that's good, even though it's evil. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they will bring it up. We have one system that reports injuries from vaccines called VAERS. That's the Vaccine Adverse Events Reporting System. Well, slap my mouth. I guess I was wrong. Now, in 2016 alone in America, we had 43,711 reported vaccine injuries. 432 of those were deaths from vaccines. No, those were claimed, not proven claimed you can literally claim anything was was a vaccine injury through the VAERS database anything you could claim my eczema is because of a vaccine um my mental depression which led to me you know losing my marriage is because of vaccine you could literally put anything in it so the idea that somebody's like well and this has happened uh my my daughter who had a congenital heart defect who died three years after getting a vaccine, that was because of the vaccine. Shit like this has happened a lot with the VAERS database. And those people, quite rightly so, don't get vaccine compensation because it wasn't a vaccine. Like, <laughs> God, this is so dumb. But it gets even worse. Health and Human Services that monitors that system has done their own internal reports and come out and said, you can't trust VAERS. Why? 
because we believe that less than 1% of people and doctors are reporting to this system. So not only is it, well, 400 people a year died from vaccine injuries, but you still, you can't even trust it because uh, barely anyone's using it, so there's probably more. I mean, my God. And you know, the worst part is too, if somebody watches InfoWars and they're a true believer in the kind of shit that they put out, you know, like Sandy Hook was a was a false flag, uh, or it didn't happen. None of those none of those children were were murdered or uh, AIDS conspiracy hoaxes or whatever. You might even believe this. You might believe that there is like a genocide of children happening due to vaccines, and that's that's hideous. And and speaking from a journalistic perspective, it's incredibly irresponsible. So think about that. That means that if there was 43,000 injuries, that immediately becomes 43,000, I mean, turns into 4.3 uh, million cases. And, you know, the deaths, 432 deaths is 43,000 deaths. If we're to take Health and Human Services for their word. It's like a symphony of stupidity. Whew. People need to understand, again, the science. When you're a young child, your blood-brain barrier is not fully formed. Um, actually, no. Up until 2010, scientists theorized that maybe the blood-brain barrier was not fully formed until after birth. But, eh, you see, that's the nice part about science is we're always learning more, redefining our theories, we're understanding more about the human body every single year. And since 2010, we have fully understood that the blood-brain barrier is fully formed well before birth. So you're wrong. And they yep. don't even want to report well, another, on it. And they want to yep. act like you're crazy for even pointing out facts. No, Owen, they think you're crazy because you're saying a bunch of crazy, inaccurate, and stupid shit. I think that, that I've seen this firsthand. I, I actually have family members that make vaccines. Um, so so I, I know there is a kind of a religious cultish mm -hmm. aspect to to the vaccine. Um, I mean, honestly, it's like a cult, really. It's a cult. OK, it's a vaccine cult. Right. Uh, our, our, our hundreds and hundreds of years of medical history leading up to this point, uh, the thousands upon thousands of studies based upon it. How every time Trump, somebody tries to, to cast shade on it and show some proof that they're wrong or they're evil or whatever, uh, always gets completely shut down using the basic scientific method, or they're shown to be hideously corrupt and trying to profit off of people's fear and ignorance. No, it's it, it's really the people who uh, who who are all pro vaccine. That's that's the cult. Okay, all right. I, th I'm this just hit me. I mean. You, I don't know how you feel about this. It's all crazy. I don't know where this all comes from, but but this is like, I mean, this is like satanic child sacrifice. I, 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 satanic child sacrifice. There we go. There we go. There's the info wars we know and love. Satanic, satanic child abuse. Of course. Whoo. I mean, again, I, 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 I'm I'm not sure who's pushing this. I'm not, I'm not sure if the satanists are behind it, but but I mean, you boil this down. This is this is child sacrifice. This is this is human sacrifice that the government is now behind. I I I, I, I you know the next documentary I guess Dale Dell would be you take a you take an example of children that were vaccinated and then you compare it to the children that were unvaccinated. I mean you hate to subject children to such a a documentary, but I guess that's the one that needs to be done next, Dale. Oh, that's that's that sounds like a brilliant idea. A brilliant idea. One hundred percent. Yes. Let's uh. Let's exploit some more children, possibly put some at risk, uh, and uh, you know we'll we'll just throw them into the arena of this horrible, horrible fucking debate between science and fear, and uh, and, and make make a boatload of money. Sounds like a good idea, but but really, um, the true evil is is this this satanic cult of of vaccine pushers, the forced vaccination, and the and the, the black. Black mast uh, vaccine death squads. <laughs> I don't even know, man. I don't even know. Oh. You know, for a long time, I really, really did love, like, the Alex Jones memes. I thought they were funny. Uh, I thought it was kind of hilarious, especially when he'd freak out. I will go to, I will go to hell before I sit here and I watch this country and the world turned over to these savages. I'm done, I'm pissed, and I'm not putting up with it anymore. You, let me tell you something, you filthy traitors in the government, you pieces of crap. But I'm not laughing anymore. I can't I can't laugh about it anymore. I'm so tired of it. I'm so tired of the stupid shit that comes with it. Yes, Alex Jones is funny. He's like a cartoon character. But 
How many times do people give him a pass for things like uh, Sandy Hook denialism? By the way, if you want to see a video on their Sandy Hook denialism, uh, I have a link in the description to Miles Powers' video on it. It's incredible. Or how many times do we do we give him a pass for pushing uh, badly made supplements? You know, the brain force and extra male vitality or whatever the hell it's called. And then you get into the anti-vax stuff. It's just, it's so irresponsible it's irresponsible and i i can't even be kind and amenable to anybody who works at infowars because they're all complicit in this they all work for an organization that is specifically tooling itself to be a disinformation service that can actually put people at risk epidemics are a serious issue we're having them all over the country these days and it's just going to get worse the newest projections are we're going to have a severe epidemic outbreak of a vaccine preventable disease at some point probably in California partially because of well the availability for international travel and for how rampant the anti-vax conspiracy is down there and it's it's not going to be Alex Jones or Owen what's his face or Dell Bigtree that's going to suffer because of it it's going to be kids it's going to be goddamn kids that are going to get sick kids that might die and I'm just tired of it I have no more patience for Infowars um, and I, I can't even laugh at the memes. I wish I could. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm gonna get back to my work. <clears throat> I'm gonna get back to reading the book that I need to read and, uh, formulating everything for my next episode of Vaxxed. Uh, that's gonna be it. I, <laughs> oh, man. Whew. Take care, everybody. From my family to yours, I'll see you next time. Wishing you well. Bye-bye.